hi guys this is Dayo again with another video so today i'm going to be showing you how to sketch this particular portrait on ev spent x so the first thing we're going to be doing is to enter our ev spent x then go to our my gallery then click on that plus sign so then you click on import picture and it's going to redirect you to your main gallery so just go on you yeah, are just going to be selecting the picture but make sure your picture is on high on high resolution you can actually check the tutorial i made on how to increase the resolution of your image and after you're done with that go to your canvas and change the resolution or dpi to 350 if it's not 350 if it's not already 350 make sure you change it to 350 then you reduce opacity to 57 percent then you press on the plus sign to add a new layer so then you go to the brush section to add a drip pen brush soft brush for your sketching so i think this is pretty much all we have to do but before then you can see how the edges of the pencil is not really sharp you want to have you want to achieve like a sharp edge um, or a faded edge on our brush so we'll go to the uh, feed force feed turn on the force feed option at the top right corner you can see the difference between the force feed and um, while the force feed is off and while the force feed is on so this enhances the um, sharpness of the edge of your brush and also you can actually add step stabilizer to make your sketch more um, to make your sketch more straight so you can use that future feature whenever you're sketching to make your sketch more straight and refined so you can just keep doing what i'm doing Do well to ensure that when whatever thing you're sketching, whatever thing you are tracing should be on a different layer from the sketching layer. So make sure you separate, you just create a new layer for this sketching, then make sure the reference is below the new layer. So you can see if you want to check the sketch you've already done, you can just tap on the eye button near the layer. You can see the layer at the top, you can see the eye. So if you want to check and see your progress of this progress of your sketch you can just tap on the eye um, button and see your sketch alone you can go back and tap on the eye again to see the norm the reference so yeah you can still on your stabilizer just in case you turn it off mistakenly you can on your stabilizer to stabilize and make your sketch sharper and, and refined so this is how i sketch my i trace my eyebrows so this is how i sketch the eye the, and trace the eyebrows just do it exactly how i do it just make sure you you make sure the opacity you are using is same as mine so as to achieve the same the same results The next thing we're going to be doing is to sketch the nose trails. So the whole of the nose, just make sure you just sketch, just sketch it this way. So after you sketch this way, sketch the other one as well. Then 
you are a COVID below when you fill it up. So after you are done with that, the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be doing the side of the corner of the nose. So we are going to be sketching the corner of the nose. This is really tricky, so you need to like increase your stabilizer or if you are if you are I used to it you can actually do it simple like this but if you find it difficult to achieve the call you can actually use your um liquify tool which is available on the Evis Paint X a special brush then you can select it then select the liquify pen then you can adjust it wherever you once you can just push it wherever you want then you switch then you switch back to your brush then you proceed with your sketch this is a great technique that helps you achieve a more refined sketch than actually trying or keep struggling with um, getting it you can just pretty much just push the sketch to wherever you want it to align with that's all so that's one of the beauty of um, liquify tool. You can actually use liquify tool on um, pretty much every drawing software aside Autodesk Sketchbook. You can keep checking the sketch to see what you've achieved so far. So you can proceed after you, you check, then you proceed. Then if there's any adjustment that you want to make, you can make them. So, yeah, let's make sure you just keep watching and follow along. You can follow along. You can just pretty much be pausing when wherever you think I'm fast. You can pause and rewatch. So if you have any question, you can also drop below the in the comment section.
For those always following my tutorial, I've always emphasized on line width. So the better you are in achieving line width, the better you are in sketching. So the line width is the difference between the inner line and the outer line, the border line. So as you can see, the edge line I am doing presently is more thicker than um, the line in my sketch. So you, you should always keep in mind that you should always make the line at the edge of your sketch or by the edge of the, the sketch to be more thicker than the one inside your on, inside your sketch so as to differentiate the width. So just make sure you know how to represent your line width because it's very important. It's, it shows how good you understand the importance of width and how you can represent values on your drawing. So it's very important that you know how to represent line width. So yeah. I've done a tutorial regarding line width. You can check my videos to watch and understand and have an in-depth um, knowledge on line width. So yeah, just keep on doing what I'm doing and just keep on connecting the lines together.
so for the hair i decided to use um the crayon to to sketch the hair to fill the hair so you can pretty much use whatever similar brush you can get but i think i just felt like using crayon to to achieve the hair um we have here so i'm trying to like brush it and make sure it um, sits well with the reference so yeah i used the crayon brush to achieve this so after you applied the crayon brush you can actually use your eraser to reshape and you can just carve the hair to make it look nice
so we are done with our sketch if you have any question do well to um, drop it down in the comment section and again i'm going to be showing you how to save your sketch so if you want the sketch with the bar the white background just tab on save as png but if you want the sketch without background you tab on save as transparent png so that's all for this tutorial do well to like share and subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video peace